do some humans cards. This is the human card review. Alright, first off, I want to go over the weapons. An axe is a weapon, a plus one in combat. Switchblade is a weapon. You can roll twice and accept the higher result. Pistol's a weapon. You get a plus two in combat. Meat cleaver's a weapon. You get a plus one in combat. Shotgun is an unstoppable weapon. You're definitely going to kill a zombie with a shotgun because it's a plus three to combat. And a hammer is a plus zero. Now what that means is you can either you can roll the die and see if you can roll a four, five, or six to kill your zombie opponent. Alright, now the rest of the cards. Too slow. You play this card when a target player draw one effect card instead of a designated number of cards. Result must be accepted. Meaning uh, if they have to roll uh, and get, I'm sorry, if they need three infect cards, well then in that case you give them only one they can draw and whatever one they draw that's what they have to accept. Close but no cigar. Play this card to move two non-captured humans to any other part of the board. Uh, basically this card gets played a lot because you can either keep them away from someone who's trying to get some more humans or more points or bring them to yourself which is always lovable. No time to aim. Play this card to lower any weapon bonus by one. This is an awesome card. If someone's attacking you, you can play this card and actually kind of hurt them, hopefully, so they won't kill your zombie. You've got nothing. This is one of those cancel cards. Always love cancel cards. Just a flesh wound. You play this card to discard one wound card. Remember, if you have more than, uh, was it, two each, then you're zombie dies. Well this helps you get rid of one of them. So this can be helpful too. <clears throat> Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Play this card to add three humans to your current tile. I see this happen all the time. Fast way for people to get some points on the board. Not fast enough. You play this card after making an infection draw uh, to discard any number of cards from your hand and redraw that same amount. So if you infect someone, use this card and you get some new cards. You can redraw if you want to. I don't see the card used that much. In fact, I'm unsure if I've seen it used at all, but it is a very helpful card. Panic. Play this card to move all humans on one tile, one space, uh, one space each. So you can actually move them away from someone or move them to your own zombie if it's yours who you're looking for. They're kind of slow. Uh, when you play this card, all zombies may only move one space until the end of your next turn meaning you slow down everyone's movement in the game. Usually I discard this because, hey, I hate moving slow. But it is a very helpful card. Uh, poor workmanship. Place this card to put a no barricade token without rolling the die to get in the building. I see this card used all the time to get easy access to a building. Clumsy human. You play this card when a human escape card is revealed. You may re-roll that capture die. This is a great card to have. Uh, if someone tries to escape from you, you can stop them and try to capture them again. And of course, Icy Road is a great card. You play this card to move all your zombies uh, who move on that turn one additional space each. So, like I said, once again, that's faster movement and that goes well in my book. Okay, now let's go into the character cards. Uh, cheerleader, uh, as you see, it takes nine points to win. There's her movement, her capture, in fact, taking wounds and do-over. What I'm going to focus on is each one of their special powers. She has pom-pom. She can automatically capture one person and only can use this once. So that's actually a pretty good one. Uh, the wrestler, nine points to win. He can take three wounds to the torso before death. So if you keep getting torso wounds, build it up. Because instead of two torsos, he can take three torsos to the de uh, before he dies. It's a lot harder to kill him. Uh, what's good about the lawyer is they can call a human on the same... It says cell phone. They can call a human on the same space if they pick up, they're infected. Uh, meaning if they roll a four, five, or six, they infect them automatically. Great spe special card there. The doctor takes ten points to win, but he has the scalpel, which gives him a plus one to capture until you have one miss. So until they miss someone, someone escapes or whatever, he has a plus one on all capture rolls, which is actually pretty cool at first. Gives you a big lead at the beginning. Uh, musician uh, has drumsticks. When taking a wound, discard drawn cards and draw again. 
use it once. That means, hey, if you get a head wound card, which is an automatic d death, you can actually use your special power only once to get rid of that card and continue playing. And the last one is the miner. He has the pickaxe. Uh, it's an automatic capture, just like the uh, pom pom on the cheerleader was. Okay, that's it for humans. So I guess you know what's coming up next. Humans 2. See you later.